Hi guys and welcome to a new video on bike to geek Today I'm going to be looking at the RM Mini 3 and what it can do to solve a very annoying problem that I have in my house. Okay guys, so today I'm taking a look at the Broadlink RM Mini 3 and this is a, a universal remote and I've bought this for a very specific uh, requirement that I have within my smart home uh, system. So if you don't know what one of these is, basically it allows you to connect your non-smart devices to your smart home system. So if you think of things like your television or your DVD player, uh, your overhead projector or a fan, something like that, uh, that uses an infrared remote control currently, uh, you can connect this to your Google Home device or an Alexa device and be able to control it via voice command uh, that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a quick unbox of this and you can see you can see what you get inside and then I'll show you uh, the device that I'm going to connect up. Uh, as I say it is quite unique and uh, you can see basically what, what you can do with this in a very simplistic way. I, I, I intend to do a more in-depth video at a later stage uh, on this but I just wanted to take you guys through um, what this is so um, if you didn't know by the way Broadlink do uh, an RM Mini 4 and they also do uh, an RM Pro as well and the RM Pro has uh, RF uh, transmission as well so um, but I only needed the uh, IR uh, transmission so that's that's why I've got this one so I think I paid about uh, £16 when I bought this about a month ago. It was on a bit of a special at the time. Uh, it was about £4 off. So it normally is, a, is about £20 uh, that it's available for. So I've bought the RM Mini for a very specific use uh, case. Uh, in this instance, it is for um, powering or controlling one of these. Uh, I'm sure... Some of you may have seen one of these before. Uh, effectively, it's a battery operated uh, false candle, fake candle, I guess. Um, but uniquely, they come with a remote control, an IR uh, remote control, uh, which allows you to obviously turn them on and off and change the mode of them and set the color and things like that. So I'll be looking to see what I can achieve uh, with the RM Mini and this particular item. Uh, whilst these are an attractive thing to have around the house, they are a complete pain when you need to turn them on or turn them off. And to have some way of being able to automate that or control that with Alexa uh, would be a, a huge benefit. Um, the, I think the other thing to note as well is that these, these remote controls uh, that you get with, with these candles. You also get these remote controls with um, other devices as well. So uh, yeah, I know things like um, LED strips, etc. Uh, they have a very similar remote control. Uh, some of them are slightly more advanced, but they're still IR remote controls. And uh, you know, if you if you have a set of those at the moment, then obviously you would be able to use the RM Mini. Uh, to be able to control those as well. So anyway, we'll get into the unboxing and you can see what you actually get for your money. So you, you've got some details on the on the box here, just at the side, just the usual bump that you get. You know, it works on uh, Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G uh, networks. You've got timer control. Uh, you've got quick learning functionality. You've got scenes as well that you can specify uh, with the app. Uh, and as you can see here, just going back over some of the things that I mentioned earlier, you know, your set top box, your TV, your air conditioning, audio system. Uh, you can connect all of those up using something like this. So we'll just get inside uh, this. And and so you, you don't really get an awful lot here. So the first thing that you do get is your USB cable, which uh, is a flat USB cable. So you know, good for hiding out the way 
uh, lengthwise I'd probably say this is uh, I'd say that's that's about a meter in length so not too bad uh, what else have you got inside the box well you get an instruction leaflet user guide there very uh, very simple so there's that all the details there, how you add devices, but I'll go through all that in the, uh, in the, in the when I go through the application on the phone. And then finally you get your RM Mini itself. And the other thing to note is that even though this is USB powered, you don't get a plug in the box. So you're gonna have to get your power off of uh, another device or have your own plug uh, for that. Obviously that might de uh, determine where you end up locating this device in the room that you're going to use it. So this is the, the RM Mini or RM Mini 3. And as you can see, it's, it is quite a small device. If I just bring in a, uh, a can of drink there for comparison, uh, you can probably see there if I just get them both into into shot so it's about half the size of a, a 330 mil can of uh, of drink overall dimensions I, I guess you know it's 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 less than the uh, circumference of the the can of drink as well so on the back of the device you have a reset point and you have your USB connection there and on the front you've got a small light indicator um, which turns blue when it's in kind of like a pairing mode with you with the application and then you've got these uh, what look like vents on the bottom of it but I don't actually believe they are vents and, uh, and that's about it so you know you've got some cellophane on the top and uh, taking that off reveals yeah, a shiny topped plastic unit matte black body sat in your lounge or your kitchen you know this would be fairly uh, unobtrusive I think you know you could probably hide that out the way and nobody would really pay any attention to it so I've already tried this out connecting this to the uh, my mobile phone and the application uh, that you've got to download I think one of the things just to just to note really uh, you know, I'm in the United Kingdom and the instructions are completely wrong in terms of the application to download um, the uh, they've, they've actually renamed the application a little bit and uh, of course with this being uh, something that you've got to set up an account for um, you need to make sure that you definitely download the right application for the the region that you're in so uh, in this instance the application is called IHC for EU and you can download the corresponding Alexa skill as well to go with this so you, you should be aware of that but they do uh, a regional var variation uh, for China and uh, I believe the other version is for the rest of the world so certainly if you're in the EU make sure you download the right, the right version there so once you've got your app installed on your mobile device registered your account you need to launch the app and uh, go into it and then you need to add on your rm mini as a, as a device there so when you go in there, there won't be anything listed there you need to connect some power to your rm mini so i'm just going to add the usb connection at the side there it takes about five to ten seconds for it to go into its full pairing mode and be ready and be discoverable if you drag down on the screen you'll see it gets uh, shown there so you click on your rm mini it says it's a universal remote what location 
it's going to be in. So this can be living room. So I'm just going to OK on that. But you, you, you have lots of other rooms on there and you, you do have the option to add on an additional room as well. So click on OK. And then you have a, a list of appliances that you want to control with this device. So you can do more than one. Uh, but this is just the initial setups. You have television, set top boxes, amplifiers, um, robo vacs. You also have things like user defined options as well. So you, you can go and connect one of these candles up using user defined. It is a slightly more long winded process because you've got to choose things like icons that you want displayed on the application. I'm going to choose a lamp for now just to demonstrate the functionality here. You go into that and you've got a raft of uh, different brands that are there. You've got a user library, which is uploaded uh, settings by other users. So I'm going to go into me. Uh, it says no data. So I'm going to learn the remote right away. It comes up, it says, what is the device name? So it defaults to lamp. I'm going to call it a, a candle. And then it's in the uh, living room. So we're just OK on that. Uh, it gives me a little warning about grey button. And then it talks about how you can control it via voice as well. Uh, so we'll come to that in a second. So what you've got here is some basic controls, which I'm guessing are for, you know, like an RGB type of uh, lamp. Um, but in this instance here, I just want to get simple on off functionality working. So that is my candle. That is the remote control that belongs to the candle. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to press on. And I now have 30 seconds to let the RM Mini know what that remote control is, is outputting as a signal. So what the app's asking me to do is to press the corresponding button to what I've got pressed on the app. In this case, it's the on button. So I'm going to press that. As you can see, candle's gone on. The app's immediately gone and said it's it's learned what that is, and that's just the the on button. Is has it functioned correctly? You just say yes. I want to repeat the process this time with the off button. So we press off, and then we press off on the remote control, and it's going to learn that as well. So we just confirm that and just say yes. Just to demonstrate that. As you can see, that's the candles remote control there on and off. So now that I've got that set up, I just need to go back, set a scene, add a scene. So this is this is probably the easiest way that I've found to get Alexa to control this device. Uh, so you can give it a scene name. Um, so we'll call it uh, Candle On. Save that. Add my appliance. It's the candle. And there's the candle on. And then I'll add another scene, which is Candle Off. Add appliance, candle, and off. And we'll save that. So those are both set up in the application. I'm now going to go into Alexa and my devices, and uh, I will uh, go down to other and discover those and allow Alexa to find the uh, RM Mini. Obviously, you've got to have, as I mentioned earlier, you've got to have the corresponding skill installed for Alexa uh, to be able to do this. But it is a, a relatively simple process. And after a few more seconds, there you go. So it's found one device and it's found two scenes. So I just set up my device. So choose my group. That's going to go in the lounge, add to that group, and candle set up and ready to use. So let's give that a try. Candle switched off. There's the remote control. We're in Alexa. Turn on the candle. 
How easy is that? Alexa, turn off the candle. Okay. It really is a straightforward process. Uh, my next thing is to try out the, the colours, uh, certainly with, with Alexa. Uh, it's not supposed to be supported on the user defined. I have had this working uh, as, a, as a manual process with the application itself, uh, the um, RM application, and it does work. I've been able to change red and have the, the multicolour mode, etc. Um, but I do want to get that working with Alexa and I might do a follow-up video when I've uh, nailed that so to speak. hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you've got any comments or questions leave them down below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Uh, if you enjoy the video can I get a like? It really does help uh, with YouTube and uh, subscribe to the channel because where else are you going to get content that shows you how to control these annoying stupid candles with an infrared remote control in, in your smart house. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.